Hello, this is a test. Um, I do like the inventor, but he's not my favorite. Apparently I was playing the same last. Let's try doing this single player and see what the frick that's like. As I... Hold on. It's like, I'm gonna turn the sound way down, so hopefully that'll reduce echoing and nothing else, maybe? So this, I guess, means that I'm always the neighbor if I do it single player. That's interesting. Also, I, I literally can't use my R ability. That's amusing. Oh, that's right. He has the F ability. I forget how. I've never used a bear trap, by the way. I want to see what this is like. Um. Oh, I have to hold it. Okay. Uh, give me this box. Well, I'm just gonna... Oh shit, there's six keys. Well... Okay then, I, I guess I'll just go look for keys. What's the worst that could happen? Does this be 15 minutes of my life wasted? You know what? I'm alright with that. Hey, I can use the... gates. Actually, eh. Well, now there's glue on the floor, but... The library, I feel like, is, is frequently decent for finding keys. Um, that was a nice coincidence. I uh, have something interesting to talk about during all of this. Because you never know, I'm, I might upload this if it's amusing. Probably not, though, because why would I upload a single player? Let's play a fuck. Oh, that's my flashlight. <laughs> of, um. Of the Secret Neighbor Beta. I, li I really like this game. Um, and I want them to add a lot of new stuff to it to make it even better. Because currently there's there's not a whole lot to it. it it's really fun, but there's not a whole lot to it. It was weak. Um. Oh, shit. Put Clue in like the worst possible spot. Okay. Well, no more gold keys. Just need two red and two blue. Okay. I want them to add a lot more to this game because it needs a lot more. It's fun as it is, but it needs a lot more if it's going to be like a full game. This is fun for beta. Let's put it that way. Um, so they need to have like an XP system for 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 matchmaking. Um, so you know you can hopefully get people at the same skill level. In the, the same lobby. Um, yeah, okay. And then you need to get like a gold system for more. There should be more customization options for all of the characters, like you know, uh, just just recolors, uh, more recolors, but also more interesting things than just recolors. So like, um, like. Maybe cosmetics that are universal, like any character can wear them, like some sort of hat. Although that'd be kind of weird. With I'll show you uh, this this helmet, it's a it's a bot, but you put it on your head like a helmet. If you see in the the bottom left corner, my character is now wearing the pot on her head. What gun? I mean, not that I need it, but because there's nobody to shoot. <laughs> but this would insta insta kill slash insta down. So, you know what? I'm actually gonna take these binoculars because I've never used them. I just threw them. <laughs> Do these work? Can you actually? Ah, shit! I fired my gun. Do these? No. The binoculars don't do anything. You can just throw them. All right. Well, maybe that's something they could change to make it so that the binoculars actually do something. That'd be kind of nice. Um, if I do say so myself. I'm just gonna keep this key for now, because obviously I'm not in any danger. There's literally no one else here. I'm just gonna keep going until I find another one. My inventory full of keys. Because I don't fucking need this gun, especially now that I've already fired it at nothing on accident. But yeah, there should be more, more cosmetics. Um, customization options. Just generally more customization options in a game like this, I think. Um, even beyond character customization. 
is just a good idea. So like allowing us to change the number of locks on that on that door even more than we already can would be nice. I didn't need to pick that up, but sure. Shit. Well, I somehow Oh. Oh, gimme Jump! Jump, damn it. <laughs> Alright. Uh, yes, okay. There we go. And now I'm gonna head down. Shit. To... Key room. Put these in. Um... Yeah, also being able to customize the time limit more, like... I feel like we should be able to type in what we want the time limit to be, and also have infinite time as an option. Um, and not that that would necessarily be a good thing all the time, because, like, I, I can definitely see how, like, um, that could just turn into a match that never ends, but if you were confident that that wasn't going to happen, then it'd be nice to have the option of uh, having a is that another key? Yeah, it's gold, so it's no good. Um, I really hope that all of the audio quality is coming out nicely for this, because that would suck if it wasn't. Oh, here's another helmet. Let me just take this energy bar. Extra movement speed, boy. Hold on. Dude! Oh my god, it blends in with the fucking thing so well. Wow. I've... I don't think I've ever noticed that kind of thing happen before. That's... I just heard the sound of it, I didn't see it. Dang. Okay, well that's that's good to keep in mind that that's a thing. Um, and that's not something that I feel like they should change either. Like, that doesn't make me mad that it's basically invisible. I actually think that's kind of cool. Um, you can imagine how people would be annoyed with that, but... Not for some reason. Um, I don't know what I was staring at just now, but anyway. Um, I think it also would be really nice if they would add more classes, uh, both of children and of neighbor. One of the neighbor classes I was thinking about was like a neighbor who can fly, he can like turn into a crow. It would actually be cool if he could, like, mimic the crow that appears after a while to mark the key once people have started dying. Um, unfortunately, I, I cannot showcase that crow in this video because I'm playing single player, so it's never going to show up. But, uh, just take my word for it, it's a thing. And it would be probably not, like, the most useful thing to try to disguise yourself. Like, pretend that you are that crow. Like, I don't think that that would be especially... Uh, helpful in most situations, but it might be every now and then, and, um, uh, it would at least be very useful to be able to fly. That would be a very good way to, uh, catch up with people, so. Well, not necessarily catch up with people, but it would just be a, a very, uh, unique form of mobility that would kind of make sense for the neighbor, because it, it seems pretty powerful. So that would, that would be cool, I think. Um, yeah, here's the attic that, for the longest time, I did not realize existed, and I kind of wish I had a flashlight right now, because it's kind of dark in here, but I do not, so. I think I just need one more red key, by the way. Am I, what am I looking, okay, that's a wrench. Ooh, and a flashlight. Now I can see what I'm doing a little better. I normally just don't use flashlights in this game at all, because it's kind of a dead giveaway where you are, but... Yeah, I've been told that there's usually keys up here, but I'm not finding any. Oh, I bet there could be a key in there sometimes, though. Um, I may... I may, I think I already found one like this, but every now and then, uh, keys will just spawn on top of things rather than in containers of any sort, so keep your eyes peeled for that as well as for, you know, keys and drawers. It's 
pretty easy to notice if you open a drawer and there's a key inside it. Like you're, you're gonna you're gonna notice that, but if it's just sitting on a table, it's, it's surprisingly easy to just just walk right past it and not see it. I don't remember if uh, it looks like I have been in here. Oh boy. Yeah. Well, here's something we didn't open. Okay. Can I go through? Okay. Yeah, I haven't been in this room yet. I swear I never find keys in these kinds of drawers. I, I know that they spawn in them sometimes, because I was playing as the detective once and I got a picture seeing that it was in one of those, but I guess yeah, so if you had still haven't gotten one from one of those containers, I'm pretty sure, so. Uh, this is, uh, uh, without even thinking about it, I just kind of showcased a little shortcut there. I don't know how I feel about the term showcase, actually, but I'm, I'm using it for some reason, so. It. What the fuck? Why are these bags here? I feel like those are not normally there. That's mildly creepy. Also, hello, dog. He just shifted his position and he's massive, so it made kind of a loud noise and it startled me, but that's fine. This game isn't scary at all. It really shouldn't be when I'm playing it on my own, but it still kind of is. Why did I not open this? Because there's nothing in it? Oh, well, I guess that's pretty good reason. Oh, boy. Wow. Did I not just open this a minute ago? I'm... I'm starting to get legitimately creeped out by this, because I swear things are happening that I'm not doing. That's not the kind of key I need. I need a red key. I'm pretty sure. Sometimes keys spawn in here. It's like one shell. This room? Be careful with this room. There's no way out aside from the window if you get trapped in here and then the neighbor comes in with you. Boom, you're trapped. And then they can just stand in front of the window. Uh, <laughs> that has happened before to me. And then I got away, but it's just because the neighbor decided to be nice to me. You know, I'm not finding any keys, so I'm just going to show you this room. This is the sonar. If there were any other players who would be able to see their outlines. As you can see, you can see the gates. Um, I just noticed they have different colors sometimes. I don't know if that means something. Presumably that. I wonder if you can find keys in here sometimes, because that would be really weird if you could. Especially with the detective in play. Like, could the detective get a picture of a key that's in the sonar room? Because that would just be really strange. Oh yeah, this is actually a pretty good room to find keys. It's not red though. But yeah, this is like a room that you can get to pretty much right off the bat in any match, usually. And it's decent for finding keys. Also this room. Sometimes you can... Yeah, see? Sometimes you can find a key in this room and in that room. So that's pretty good. This is a pretty good place to go, like, right away. I'm actually gonna win this. I mean, technically... I actually technically can't win this because I'm a neighbor, so I, I open the door. If I was a, not a neighbor, I could just win by walking in here. Instead, I'm gonna try to find a flash. Never mind. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna show you... You're never gonna see this anywhere else. <laughs> Here's the basement. You can just go into the basement on your own. Oh, there's nothing down here. Why are these actually interactable objects? It's kind of strange. What? What is this thing? I, you know, I see these levers around sometimes, and I have no clue what they do. Is that a door? Well, now all I have left to do is just run out the timer. So yeah, uh, this is Secret Neighbor Beta, <laughs> single player. Don't play it this way if you want to actually play the game, obviously, because it's not a single player game, but what the fuck did I just do? <laughs> okay. Um, I hope the audio came out nice. 30 seconds until this is over. I just win by default, because the neighbor wins if, if time runs out, so... Yeah. 
Uh, by the way, uh, this is a pretty good hiding spot. If you just want to stand here, people will most likely not notice you. But you have to actually just stand there, so. Yeah. Time is up. There should be an apostrophe there, shouldn't there? Yeah, grammar error that you guys need to fix. Tiny Bell, fix your grammar. Fix your grammar. Alright, bye.